Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello my dear students I am Santosh in this video we are going to see a question from engineering mathematics from the chapter of numerical methods First of all let me read the question the derivative of f of x is equal to cos x can be estimated using the approximation f dash of x is equal to f of x plus h Minus f of x minus h divided by 2h. The percentage error in the derivative of f of x at x is equal to pi by 6 radians, choosing h is equal to 0.1 radians is dash. So therefore, we have to find the percentage error by this method. This is what we are considering as an approximate method, and the true method is going to be true value is going to be computed by directly taking the derivative of cos x, which is nothing but minus sin x. So if you put the value of x is equal to pi by 6, whatever we value you are going to get. True value minus approximate value divided by true value multiplied by hundred is going to give you the percentage error. So first of all, I wanted to calculate the approximate value. So the approximate value you'll get when I put the value of x is e f of x is equal to cos x in this equation. So f dash of x will be equal to the top cos of x plus h minus cos of x minus h divided by two h. If you sub if you calculate this one, it will come to minus two sine x. Sin h divided by 2h. 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. If you put the value of h is equal to 0.1 minus sin x is nothing but 1 by 2 and sin of 0.1 divided by 0.1. This value comes to 0.998 multiplied by 0.5 with a minus sign. So this value is going to be minus 0.49916. So if I directly use the method. f of x is equal to cos x f dash of x is going to be minus sin x minus of sin x and then you put the value of minus of sin of pi by 6 it is equal to minus 0.5 here we are having approximate value and here we are having true value so true value minus approximate value divided by true value multiplied by 100 is going to give you the percentage error so you can substitute these values minus 0.5 minus Minus point four nine nine one six divided by minus point five. So this value comes to minus of point zero zero one six. Okay, multiplied by hundred. So it is going to be minus point one six. So here multiplied by hundred is also there, right? This comes in the numerator part. Huh? Whatever value you are finding out, multiplied by hundred. So this value comes to is minus zero point zero zero one six, and then multiplied by hundred, it's going to be minus point one six. So if you see the error, only the magnitude of the error, then it is going to be point one six percentage. Now, if you compare with the options which are given, what are the options which are given? Less than point one percent. This value is greater than point one percent. So option A is wrong. Option B says that it is greater than one percent, which is also wrong. Option C says that it is going to be greater than five percent, which is again wrong. So option D says that it is greater than point one percent, which is correct, and of course it is going to be less than the top one percent. So according to answer that we got, we will go with the top option D, which is greater than the top point one percent and less than the top one percent. I hope this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.